It is a scientific fact that stress hormones downregulate genes and cause disease and long-term effects. We can turn on the stress response just by thinking. We think about our problems and activate these chemicals. This means then that our thoughts can make us sick. We all know stress. It's that tightening in your chest, that knot in your stomach. It's the feeling of being on the verge of a meltdown like your one email, one deadline, and one traffic jam away from losing it all. But what if I told you stress isn't just an annoying feeling? What if it held the key to unlocking a hidden power within you, a power that could not only manage stress, but transform your life in ways you never imagined? Science is now revealing the incredible truth about stress. It's not just a mental state, it's a biological one. It has the power to weaken your immune system, accelerate aging, and even influence the way your genes express themselves. But here's the shocker, it also holds the potential for incredible growth and transformation. Imagine a world where you don't just survive stress, you thrive on it, where it becomes a catalyst for positive change, a springboard to a healthier, happier you. This isn't some pie in the sky fantasy. This is the cutting edge of science, and in this video, we're going to dive deep into it. We'll explore the hidden biology of stress, reveal the surprising ways it's affecting your body and mind, and most importantly, we'll equip you with powerful tools to take back control. You'll learn techniques that have been scientifically proven to reduce stress, improve your health, and even rewrite your genetic code. This isn't just another stress management video. This is your chance to unlock the potential that's been dormant within you all along. Are you ready to dive into the possible? Before we talk about the ways stress can hold us hostage, let's rewind a bit. What exactly are we talking about when we say stress? Think of it like this stress is your body's internal alarm system. It's that feeling you get when you slam on the brakes to avoid an accident or the surge of adrenaline that kicks in when you have to give a presentation at work. It's a natural response designed to help you deal with challenges, big or small. Now, this alarm system can be a lifesaver in certain situations. That jolt of stress hormones can give you the focus and energy you need to perform well under pressure. But here's the thing, our bodies aren't always the best judges of what's truly a threat. Remember that time you were freaking out about a first date? even though you knew deep down it was probably going to be fine? That's your body treating a social situation like it's a hungry bear chasing you through the woods. This is where things get interesting. Stress comes in two main flavors, acute and chronic. Acute stress is that short-term, intense kind. It's your body's way of saying, hey, pay attention. Something's happening. It's a quick burst of energy that helps you deal with the situation at hand like dodging that rogue frisbee in the park. Once the threat passes, your body naturally relaxes and everything goes back to normal. Chronic stress, on the other hand, is like having your smoke alarm chirping endlessly. It's that low-grade, persistent feeling of tension that can build up over time from work deadlines, financial worries, or relationship problems. Unlike acute stress, chronic stress doesn't have an off switch. It keeps your body in a constant state of fight or flight, which can wreak havoc on your physical and mental health. Think about it this way. Imagine your body is a car. Acute stress is like hitting the gas pedal to avoid an obstacle. It gives you a quick burst of power, but you don't stay at high revs forever. Chronic stress, however, is like keeping your foot jammed on the gas pedal for hours on end. It's going to burn out your engine eventually. The good news is that just like you can learn to control your car, you can also learn to manage your stress response. By understanding the different types of stress and how they affect you, you can start to take back control and unlock the power that lies within you. All right, so we've established that stress is like your body's internal alarm system. But what exactly happens when that alarm starts blaring? Buckle up because it's about to get a little science. When you encounter a stressor, whether it's a real threat or just a perceived one, your body launches into a fascinating physiological response called the fight or flight response. Imagine you're walking through the woods and suddenly come face to face with a grizzly bear. Your amygdala, the part of your brain that acts as your fear center, goes into overdrive. 
it sends a distress signal to your hypothalamus, which is kind of like your body's mission control. The hypothalamus then triggers the release of a cocktail of stress hormones, including adrenaline and cortisol. Here's where things get wild. Adrenaline is like a shot of espresso straight into your system. It increases your heart rate, breathing rate, and blood sugar levels, essentially putting your body on high alert. Blood flow gets diverted away from non-essential functions like digestion and towards your muscles, giving you that burst of energy you might need to, you know, outrun the bear. Your pupils dilate to take in more light, and your senses become hyper-aware, like a scene straight out of an action movie. This whole fight-or-flight response is a brilliant evolutionary adaptation. It's designed to give you the physical edge you need to survive a dangerous situation. But here's the problem in our modern world. Stress isn't always about running away from bears. It can be about traffic jams, work deadlines, or that never-ending to-do list. And the thing is, our bodies don't differentiate between a real threat and a perceived one. That chronic low-grade stress we talked about earlier keeps your body in this constant state of fight or flight, which can have some pretty nasty consequences. Remember how adrenaline increases your heart rate and blood sugar? Well, when it's happening all the time, it can lead to high blood pressure, heart disease, and even diabetes. The constant flood of stress hormones also weakens your immune system, making you more susceptible to illness. And let's not forget about the digestive system. All that fight or flight action diverts blood flow away from your gut, which can lead to stomach upset, constipation, or even irritable bowel syndrome. The effects of stress can even reach your brain. Chronic stress can impair your memory, focus, and decision-making abilities. It can also contribute to anxiety, depression, and other mental health problems. So the next time you feel that familiar knot of tension in your stomach, remember it's not just a feeling, it's your body trying to tell you something. By understanding the physical effects of stress, you can start to take steps to manage it and protect your health. Okay, we've talked about the body's alarm system going off and the physical toll chronic stress can take. But let's not forget the other half of the equation in your mind. Stress doesn't just wreak havoc on your physical health, it can also have a profound impact on your mental well-being. Think about it this way, your brain is like the control center for your entire being. It processes information, regulates emotions, and helps you navigate the world around you. But when you're constantly stressed, it's like having a million browser tabs open at once your brain gets overloaded and overwhelmed. Chronic stress can make it difficult to focus, concentrate, and make decisions. It can also lead to negative thinking patterns like rumination and worry. You might find yourself dwelling on past mistakes or catastrophizing about the future. This constant negativity can take a real toll on your mood, making you feel anxious, irritable, and even hopeless. Here's where the link between stress and mental health conditions like anxiety and depression comes in. Anxiety is characterized by excessive worry and fear, often accompanied by physical symptoms like a racing heart, shortness of breath, and muscle tension. Sound familiar? Chronic stress can exacerbate these symptoms and even trigger an anxiety disorder. Depression, on the other hand, is characterized by persistent feelings of sadness, loss of interest in activities you used to enjoy, and changes in appetite and sleep. Stress can be a major contributor to depression, especially when it feels like there's no way out. It can leave you feeling drained, exhausted, and unable to cope with even the most basic tasks. But here's the important thing to remember, stress doesn't have to control your life. There are powerful tools and techniques you can learn to manage stress and protect your mental health. By understanding how stress affects your brain, you can start to develop strategies to interrupt negative thought patterns and cultivate a more positive outlook. Mindfulness practices like meditation and deep breathing can be incredibly helpful in calming your mind and reducing anxiety. Exercise is another fantastic stress reliever. It releases endorphins. Those feel good chemicals in your brain that can improve your mood and overall well-being. The key is to find healthy coping mechanisms that work for you. Whether it's spending time in nature, connecting with loved ones, or pursuing a creative hobby, there are ways to manage stress and safeguard your mental health. Remember, your brain is incredibly resilient. By taking proactive steps to manage stress, 
you can create a calmer, clearer, and more positive inner landscape. Let's shift gears a bit. We've talked about the fight or flight response and how stress can wreak havoc on your body and mind. But there's another crucial player in this whole stress equation we haven't touched on yet, your immune system. Think of your immune system as your body's army. It's a complex network of cells, tissues, and organs that work together to defend you against invaders, bacteria, viruses, the whole nasty lot. It's constantly on patrol, identifying and eliminating any threats before they can make you sick. Now, when you're facing a short-term stressor like that presentation at work, your immune system gets a bit of a boost. The surge of stress hormones like adrenaline can temporarily enhance certain immune functions, helping you fight off germs. It's like your body's way of saying, all right, troops, let's be extra vigilant. But here's the catch chronic stress. That constant low-grade tension we talked about earlier is like having your army on high alert for weeks on end. Remember, your body's resources are finite. All that energy being directed towards fight or flight leaves less fuel for other essential functions, like keeping your immune system running at peak performance. Chronic stress disrupts the delicate balance of immune cells in your body. It can decrease the production of white blood cells, which are your body's frontline defenders against infection. It can also impair the function of natural killer cells, which are specialized immune cells that seek and destroy infected cells. The result? You become more susceptible to illness. A cold that might have only lasted a few days under normal circumstances can turn into a two-week saga when you're chronically stressed. You might find yourself catching every bug that comes your way, and it takes you longer to recover from even minor illnesses. But it doesn't stop there. Chronic stress can also make it harder for your body to heal from wounds and injuries. Think about it, if your immune system is constantly busy fighting off invaders, it doesn't have the resources to focus on repairing damaged tissues. The good news is that just like you can train your body to be physically stronger, you can also strengthen your immune system. By managing stress, you can give your immune system the fighting chance it needs to keep you healthy. We'll delve deeper into some powerful stress management techniques in a bit, but for now, remember chronic stress is like having a deflated army. By taking steps to manage stress, you can re-energize your immune system and create a stronger defense against illness. Let's zoom in on a specific area where chronic stress can have a major impact your heart. We all know heart disease is a leading cause of death globally, and research has increasingly revealed a surprising culprit stress. It turns out that the constant feeling of being on edge isn't just bad for your mood, it can take a serious toll on your cardiovascular health. Remember that fight or flight response we talked about earlier? When you're stressed, your body releases a flood of hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. These hormones are designed to give you a quick burst of energy in the face of danger. But here's the problem when you're chronically stressed, these hormones are constantly coursing through your system, putting a strain on your heart. Think of it like this, imagine your heart is a muscle that needs to work steadily and efficiently. Chronic stress is like putting that muscle under constant strain, making it work harder than it needs to. Over time, this can lead to high blood pressure, a major risk factor for heart disease. High blood pressure forces your heart to work harder to pump blood throughout your body. It's like trying to push water through a clogged hose. It takes more effort to get the same amount of flow. Chronic stress can also contribute to the buildup of plaque in your arteries, those highways that carry blood throughout your body. This plaque buildup narrows the arteries, making it even harder for your heart to deliver oxygen-rich blood to your organs. In the worst case scenario, Chronic stress can even trigger a heart attack. A heart attack occurs when a blood clot blocks a coronary artery, cutting off blood flow to a part of your heart muscle. Stress can increase the risk of blood clots forming and can also make your heart more susceptible to irregular rhythms, which can further complicate matters. The good news is there are steps you can take to manage stress and protect your heart health. Regular exercise, a healthy diet, and getting enough sleep are all essential for keeping your cardiovascular system strong. But stress management is also a crucial piece of the puzzle. 
by learning techniques to calm your mind and body, you can reduce the strain on your heart and lower your risk of heart disease. So the next time you feel that familiar tightness in your chest, remember it's not just stress affecting your mood, it's potentially impacting your heart health as well. By taking charge of your stress, you can take charge of your cardiovascular health and create a stronger, healthier you. We've talked about how stress affects your brain, your heart, and your immune system. But what about your digestive system? Turns out that churning feeling in your stomach when you're stressed isn't just a metaphor. Your gut is quite sensitive to the fight or flight response. Imagine your digestive system as a complex factory, churning away to break down food and extract nutrients. It's a precisely coordinated ballet of muscles, enzymes, and good bacteria all working in harmony. But here's the thing stress can throw a major wrench into this delicate operation. Remember how chronic stress keeps your body in a constant state of fight or flight. Well, when that happens, blood flow gets diverted away from your digestive system and towards your muscles, preparing you to flee from that imaginary bear. This can slow down digestion, leading to bloating, gas, and indigestion. It's like hitting the pause button on your internal factory. Stress can also disrupt the normal communication between your brain and your gut. Your gut has its nervous system, often called the second brain, and it constantly sends signals to your central nervous system about things like hunger, fullness, and discomfort. Chronic stress can scramble these signals, leading to a variety of digestive issues. One common culprit is irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS for short. EBS is a chronic condition characterized by abdominal pain, cramping, bloating, diarrhea, and constipation. While the exact cause of IBS is unknown, Stress is a major trigger for many people. That constant feeling of being on edge can exacerbate IBS symptoms and make them even more uncomfortable. But stress doesn't just affect the big picture of digestion, it can also impact the delicate balance of bacteria in your gut microbiome. The gut microbiome is a complex ecosystem of trillions of bacteria that play a vital role in digestion, immunity, and even mood. Chronic stress can disrupt this delicate balance, leading to an overgrowth of bad bacteria and a decrease in good bacteria. This imbalance can contribute to a variety of digestive problems, including inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, and even certain allergies. The good news is that just like you can manage stress to protect your heart and mind, you can also take steps to safeguard your digestive system. Eating a healthy diet rich in prebiotics and probiotics can help nourish the good bacteria in your gut. Mind-body practices like meditation and yoga can also be incredibly helpful in calming your nervous system and improving gut function. Remember, stress doesn't have to wreak havoc on your digestive system. By understanding the connection between stress and your gut, you can learn to manage stress and create a happier, healthier digestive landscape. Let's talk about sleep. We all know a good night's rest is essential for feeling our best. But what happens when stress becomes your unwelcome bedtime companion? Turns out stress can wreak havoc on your sleep patterns in several ways. Imagine sleep as a symphony, a series of carefully orchestrated stages where your body and mind recharge and rejuvenate. But stress is like a screeching violin solo thrown into the middle of the piece it disrupts the harmony and makes it difficult to fall asleep or stay asleep throughout the night. Here's why chronic stress keeps your body in a constant state of fight or flight. Remember the surge of hormones like adrenaline and cortisol we talked about earlier? Well, these same hormones that give you a burst of energy during the day are keeping you wide-eyed at night. It's like your body's stuck in on mode, making it hard to wind down and drift off to sleep. On top of that, stress can also make your mind race. Have you ever laid in bed at night with a million worries swirling around in your head? This is a classic symptom of stress-induced insomnia. When you're stressed, your brain has a hard time quieting down. It keeps replaying the day's events, worrying about the future, and generally making it difficult to switch off and get the restful sleep you need. The result? You end up feeling tired and sluggish the next day, which can make you even more stressed. It's a vicious cycle that can leave you feeling drained and depleted, but the link between stress and sleep goes even deeper. 
Not only does stress make it harder to sleep, but poor sleep can also make you more susceptible to stress. It's a two-way street. When you're sleep deprived, your body's ability to regulate stress hormones like cortisol becomes impaired. This can lead to increased anxiety, irritability, and difficulty concentrating, all of which can make you feel even more stressed. So it's a double whammy stress disrupts your sleep and poor sleep makes you more susceptible to stress. The good news is there are steps you can take to break this cycle and improve your sleep quality. Developing a relaxing bedtime routine, creating a sleep conducive environment, and practicing stress management techniques like meditation can all make a big difference. Remember, a good night's sleep is essential for managing stress and overall health. By prioritizing sleep and learning to manage stress, you can create a win-win situation for both your mind and body. Stress doesn't just affect your internal landscape, it can also manifest in some pretty surprising ways in how you interact with the world around you. Think of it this lashing out at a loved one or reaching for that extra slice of cake when you're feeling overwhelmed. These seemingly unrelated behaviors can be your body's way of coping with stress. Here's the thing, when you're chronically stressed, your body is constantly on high alert. It's pumping out stress hormones like cortisol, which can wreak havoc on your decision-making abilities and self-control. This can lead to a variety of stress-induced behavioral changes. Let's take eating, for example. When you're stressed, you might find yourself reaching for comfort foods high in sugar and fat. These foods trigger the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter that can create a temporary feeling of pleasure. It's like your body's trying to self-medicate with a quick hit of feel-good chemicals. The problem is that this is a temporary fix with long-term consequences. Overeating can lead to weight gain, and unhealthy food choices can negatively impact your overall health. On the flip side, some people experience the opposite effect under stress they lose their appetite altogether. The constant fight or flight response can disrupt your digestive system and make the thought of eating unappealing. This can lead to weight loss and nutrient deficiencies if not addressed. Stress can also lead to the misuse of substances like alcohol or drugs. People often turn to these substances as a way to numb or escape their problems. While they might provide a temporary sense of relief, they ultimately create more problems down the line. Alcohol and drugs can interfere with sleep, worsen anxiety and depression, and damage your physical and mental health. Beyond eating and substance use, stress can also manifest in other ways. You might find yourself withdrawing from social activities and isolating yourself from loved ones. Stress can also make you more irritable and short-tempered, leading to strained relationships. The key takeaway here is this stress doesn't just affect you internally, it can also have a significant impact on how you behave. By understanding the link between stress and behavioral changes, you can start to identify your stress triggers and develop healthy coping mechanisms. Let's shift gears and talk about something that hits close to home for many of us work and daily productivity. We all know feeling stressed can make it tough to focus on that looming deadline or muster the energy to tackle your never-ending to-do list. But what's happening behind the scenes in your brain when stress throws a wrench into your productivity? Imagine your brain as a finely tuned machine, meticulously processing information and executing tasks. But chronic stress, that constant low-grade tension we've been talking about, is like throwing a bucket of sand into the gears. It disrupts the delicate balance of neurotransmitters and hormones that keep your brain functioning optimally. Here's how it plays out when you're stressed. Your body is constantly on high alert. Remember the fight or flight response and the surge of cortisol we discussed earlier? Well, these same processes that are designed to help you survive a dangerous situation can hinder your ability to focus and perform complex tasks. Cortisol can impair your working memory, which is the part of your brain responsible for holding onto information in the short term. This can make it difficult to concentrate on a project or remember instructions. Stress can also disrupt your ability to think critically and creatively. That brilliant idea you were chasing might suddenly vanish into thin air when your brain is overwhelmed with stress hormones. The result, decreased productivity, missed deadlines, and a general feeling of being overwhelmed. You might find yourself starting tasks but struggling to finish them, 
or making careless mistakes that wouldn't happen when you're feeling calm and collected. But the impact of stress goes beyond just work. Chronic stress can also zap your energy levels, making it difficult to find the motivation to tackle even basic daily tasks. Think about it if your brain is constantly on high alert, there's no energy left for things like planning healthy meals, exercising, or spending quality time with loved ones. Stress can turn even the most enjoyable activities into a chore. The good news is, there are ways to manage stress and reclaim your productivity. Techniques like meditation, mindfulness, and deep breathing can help to calm your nervous system and improve focus. Developing healthy sleep habits and getting enough rest is also crucial for optimal brain function. Remember, stress doesn't have to be the boss of your productivity. By understanding how stress affects your brain and developing healthy coping mechanisms, you can create a calmer, clearer mind and achieve more in all areas of your life. Okay, we've explored the many ways stress can wreak havoc on our lives. But where exactly does all this stress come from in our day-to-day -day experiences? Buckle up, because modern life throws a whole lot of potential stressors our way. Imagine your life as a bubbling cauldron. The more ingredients you toss in, the more likely it is to boil over. Here are some of the common culprits that can contribute to that stressful simmer. Work pressure for many people. Work is a major source of stress. Deadlines, demanding workloads, and feeling like you're constantly on the hamster wheel can leave you feeling drained and overwhelmed. Feeling undervalued or unsupported by your boss or colleagues can add another layer of stress to the mix. Financial worries, let's face it, money matters. Whether it's bills piling up, the rising cost of living, or the pressure to maintain a certain lifestyle, financial worries can be a major source of stress. The uncertainty of not knowing if you'll have enough to make ends meet can be incredibly anxiety provoking. Relationships are relationships with loved ones are a source of both joy and stress. Disagreements with partners, family conflicts, or navigating difficult social situations can all take a toll on our emotional well-being. Feeling isolated or unsupported by loved ones can further exacerbate stress. Health concerns, whether it's a personal illness, caring for a sick loved one, or the general anxieties surrounding healthcare costs, health concerns can be a major source of stress. The fear of the unknown and the potential impact on your life can leave you feeling worried and overwhelmed. Technology overload in our constantly connected world. It's easy to feel like we're always on the constant barrage of emails. Social media notifications and breaking news updates can be mentally exhausting. The pressure to be available and responsive 24 7 can disrupt sleep and leave you feeling overwhelmed. Information overload, there's more information out there than ever before, and it's readily accessible at our fingertips. This constant stream of news, opinions, and social media comparisons can be overwhelming. Feeling bombarded with negativity or unrealistic expectations can contribute to stress and anxiety. Commuting for many people, Commuting to and from work is a daily grind. Traffic jams, crowded public transportation, and the general hassle of getting from point A to point B can leave you feeling frustrated and drained of energy. Lack of time, feeling like there just aren't enough hours in the day is a common complaint. Juggling work, family, social commitments, and personal time can leave you feeling stretched thin and overwhelmed. The constant pressure to be productive can take a toll on your mental and emotional well-being. Living in a fast-paced world, modern life can feel like a constant race against the clock. The pressure to achieve, keep up with the latest trends, and maintain a perfect image can be incredibly stressful. This isn't an exhaustive list, but it gives you a flavor of the many potential stressors lurking in our daily lives. The key takeaway here is that stress is a normal part of life. However, by understanding the common sources of stress, you can start to identify your triggers and develop coping mechanisms to manage them effectively. Remember, stress is a natural part of life. It's the body's way of responding to a perceived threat. But when that stress becomes chronic, it can take a serious toll on your health and well-being. We've seen how chronic stress can weaken your immune system, increase your risk of heart disease, and even mess with your sleep patterns. It can make you irritable and anxious and even lead to depression. But the good news is you don't have to be a passive victim of stress. 
There are powerful tools and techniques you can learn to manage stress and protect your health. From mindfulness practices like meditation and deep breathing to getting enough sleep and developing healthy coping mechanisms, there are steps you can take to create a calmer, more resilient you. By understanding your stress triggers and learning to manage them effectively, you can safeguard your physical and mental health, improve your productivity, and create a more fulfilling life. Remember, taking care of yourself isn't selfish, it's essential. When you prioritize your well-being, you're better equipped to handle life's challenges and show up as your best self for the people you care about. So if you're feeling overwhelmed by stress, don't despair. There's hope. We'll be releasing more videos in the coming weeks packed with practical tips and strategies for stress management. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content on health and wellness. Remember, you're not alone in this journey towards a stress-free life. Let's take charge of our well-being together.